It's a little overwhelming, actually, just to see so many cool things right here in Oshkosh. Well, Proteus was built in 1998. It was a high altitude uh, research platform. It was meant to carry a telecommunications dish. Um, the market for that kind of went away soon after it was developed and uh, now we just use it for high altitude research and uh, product development. Well, it weighs around 8,000 pounds. It's powered by two Williams engines. Uh, they're very comparable to what you'd find on a, a light business jet. A lot of commonality uh, parts that we used from the business jet world. Um, but obviously with Burt's design, the long, thin wings like a glider and a canard layout allows us to go very high. Uh, we hold an a altitude record 63,000 feet and change. Um, that was set soon after we built it. The uh, airplane was nice and light and we just wanted to see how high it would actually go and it still holds the record. What's it like flying that high? Yeah, it's, it's different. You can start to see the black sky above you just a little bit and you can start to see just a little bit of the curvature of the Earth. So you get a sense of how high you truly are. We fly for a variety of customers, private, uh, commercial ventures, uh, just whoever wants a high altitude research platform. Uh, we do some work for NASA, uh, some of their atmospheric sampling and uh, missions like that. It's unique, it takes a unique approach to maintaining it, flying it. It's all composite, it's carbon fiber and fiberglass, uh, and a lot of home-built parts, so you have to, you can't just go pull something off the shelf and, and put it on the airplane. You've gotta usually fit it and build it and fit it and make it work. This is the only one. They had originally intended to build multiple ones, but like I said, the market had, had went away by the time it was developed, so. Uh, this is the only one like it. Proteus has been here soon after it was built, 1999, um, but we're just thrilled to be here. We have an excellent forum presence and uh, just a lot of cool things to share with Oshkosh crowd.